Hi there, my name is uh, Simon Filiatro. I um, got the idea of uh, presenting you um, some background information on radiation um, after reading um, that astronaut Scott Kelly is going to spend one year in space. And um, I calculated from, from the information available on the web that uh, he's going to be exposed to a certain level of, uh, of radiation. So it, it's hard for, for people to understand uh, what this means exactly. Um, so I just wanted to demo, uh, you know, different level of uh, radiation exposure um, uh, to be able to compare to what uh, Scott Kelly is going to be exposed to. And um, so we're going to go from um, a background radiation here and the um, the level here is going to be expressed in uh, microsieverts per hour. So we're going to go from a background of uh, 0.3 microsieverts to uh, the Fukushima 2014 exclusion red zone three years after the event of 0.83 microsieverts. And then we're going to go to a nuclear power worker average maximum allowed exposure in one year and this is an average of 5.71 microsieverts per hour and uh, and the next line is the one year average for astronaut Scott Kelly exposure which is uh, average per, per hour to 12.1 microsieverts and uh, then we're gonna go to another level which is 29.6 which is um, a city a region in uh, Ramsar Iron um, where the average exposure of the population is uh, 29.68. And then uh, the last level is going to be the Fukushima 2011, the red zone uh, average, two months after the event. Um, so here we have the uh, Geiger counter. So this is the, the, the sensor and this is the, uh, the display, uh, the, the display unit uh, um, displaying in microsieverts per hour here. And um, so the, this is a pancake uh, receiver, um, Geiger counter, which is uh, quite sensitive. And this is all calibrated um, by, by the vendor. And um, here I have uh, some, some distance where I'm going to put the, um, the radioactive element I have to demo this. And um, at one point, uh, we're going to have like a level here, uh, and I need to add some wood. So I have a one inch uh, thick wood, um, piece of wood that I'm going to simply put in there. So the, the radiation uh, is going to come from this, um, this tube here, which is like a... Um, I don't know if you see it properly. So it's a it's a tube, and in the end, inside it, we have some um, some standard uh, natural uranium in a powder form, and um, on top of it, uh, we have some lead shielding. So I, I'm I'm just exposing uh, this uh, this end here uh, for for the experiment. So um, and the beep you're hearing is. Um, every time there's a beep, um, there's an alpha, beta, or gamma particle going through the, the detector. So, what you hear every time you see the red LED um, lit up uh, is one particle going through there. So this is the normal background radiation, which is at my home in uh, Quebec, north of Montreal, uh, which is around 0.3 microsieverts per hour. So this is this level here. Um, so let, let's start with um, the Fukushima. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm going to start with number five here. So I'm going to I'm going to approach this tube here, and I'm going to put it at about this distance here. So this is quite variable, um, and you're going to see here that uh, this is going to go maybe close to 5 microsieverts per hour. And you see the, the events are going up. So we already passed 
uh, five microsieverts per hour. So I may need to, you know, pull a bit on it or move it a bit back. But um, it's it's um, it's very variable. Uh, so this is just to give you an idea of um, what is the effect of the distance between the radiation uh, element, which is in this case uh, this uh, tube here and the detector, and how the distance influences the level of radiation that we measure. So this is the around 5 microsieverts per hour. So let's go to this line here, which is 12, which is the one-year average for the astronaut in space. So the uh, counter here is averaging um, over 30 seconds right now. So it, it's going to take a while to, to get to the um, level that we need. But you get the idea of how many event per second the astronaut is exposed while in space. And this is going to be like all day long during one year. So we're at the 12 level here. So let's go to the next line, which is 29. So now it's beeping even more, and this is the the level of exposure in Ramsar, Iran, that uh, the population is exposed to um, in their daily lives, and uh, without any adverse effect. Uh, there is there is nothing wrong with the population there. Nobody is dying early of uh, cancer or anything. So this is what they're exposed to in average every day, and. Um, this is a more high, higher level, if you see here, this is the 55, and um, so this is what was found uh, two months after the event of Fukushima, and uh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of exposure, and, and you see here my little alarm, uh, yellow LED is uh, lit up, because I've set up the alarm to go on above 30 I think um, so that's a lot of uh, ev events per second going on there so so that's gonna go up to 55 at one point after the uh, 30 seconds uh, average so let's go back up here at this level here okay and um, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put a one inch thick piece of maple wood, you know, which is standard maple maple wood. And I'm just gonna put that there. So as you see, even if you have like um, a strong source near your house or where you live, um, just having a piece of wood, one inch thick, is cutting almost all of it. And we're back to almost background level. So that, that's going to be, that's going to go down to an average above, above the background, maybe 0 0.83. Um, this is, this is going to be closer to 0 0.8 now. And 0.8 is, is it's like very low, and this is the this this was found by some measurement in 2014 in the exclusion zone, and I took a the the highest measurement um, that was found in, in very near the nuclear power station, and um, so you see that only one one inch thick of of wood uh, cuts almost everything. So here you go, um, you know, radiation source, detector, distance plays a big, big role. So even if you, you're scared of radiation, you just have to back away a couple of feet, a couple of meters, and, uh, 
and the exposure goes down or uh, you can distance uh, or you can shield yourself with a piece of wood, piece of metal, uh, you know, uh, some lead and that's gonna do it. So hopefully that's uh, giving you a um, better understanding of uh, level of radiation that uh, Scott Kelly is going to be exposed to uh, in space for one year. Thank you.